everyone. Hope you are doing great. And yes, here I come again with you know very uh, interesting topic. And today we are going to speak about something uh, like what we can say a very small topic. Okay, so today we are going to speak about reading. Let's start the video by speaking about reading. Now, reading is something you know which most of the people enjoy. Like I personally love reading books a lot. But yes, I have come across people who find reading, you know, not that very, very attractive or interesting. Now, what happens because of this, they miss out on uh, very good books. And what happens, you know, when you read, it improves your vocab as we all know. And also it's going to help you learn a lot many things. New words, you can start exploring new words, new meanings and whatnot. But still, you know, guys, if you're not, you know, very fond of reading, what can you actually do? Okay, and this, you know, technique, I think, is also going to be helpful for those uh, kids, I'll say, or those children, or those youngsters who, you know, uh, have the last minute to get prepared for your exam. And you have to, you know, just you keep thinking about that, I would, uh, wish I would have read more books and something like this. So, uh, if such a situation arises, you know, you can use these two techniques. Okay, so first is scheming. So what is scheming? So now what you do, when you don't want to read the book totally, but still you want to, you know, uh, learn or come or explore what's there. So you can use this technique of scheming. So what you do, when you are scheming, basically you read the first line of each paragraph. The beginning you have to read fully. And you can read the ending part or the last part of the paragraph what happens when you start scheming all the important information or you at least have an idea what is the uh, topic about or what is the book about so quickly you can start this uh, technique of scheming and also what happens if you you know start by scheming this book you might actually you know uh, love reading it you might actually uh, and love reading the book okay so you can start this or you can use this people you know who are not very uh, fond of reading and the second one is you can actually use the technique of scanning now we already know what is scanning right so how can you actually scan a text for that you have to find out first the questions so now whatever questions you have try to you know take out the questions and then what you do you try to find the keywords in the question and you know try to find the, those keywords in the passage Mommy what happens that is you're able to you know quickly find those answers and also without you know reading the entire text you can gather all the important information and generally when do we use this scanning technique when you are looking for you know a specific information it can be related with you know years names of certain persons or you know name of certain events okay so uh, if you really you know think that you can use this and you don't have to read the book, entire text or book you can use these two techniques so guys I would like to request you to try them at least sometimes and see if it works and yes obviously thank you so much for watching my videos and I'm trying to you know uh, give all the information that I've come across recently so any kind of information you particularly want or any specific topic you think uh, we can discuss together, put in the comments and thank you so much for watching my videos, really means a lot. Okay, I'll see you again with another interesting topic as of now, bye bye, take care.